Junu Joseph, Global Group Editor of Modern Plastics India and Modern Plastics TV, here with you today. Here with me, a special guest with us today, speaking about uh, Plast Asia, who is none other than Mr. Cyril Pereira, Managing Director of Triune Exhibitors, with the organizer of Plast Asia 2022 and uh, many other exhibitions in India. Uh, thank you, Mr. Cyril, for joining us today. And uh, could you please tell our viewers, after this pandemic, you have decided to organize Plast Asia 2022 in Pragadi Maidan, Delhi. How do you see the visitors and the exhibitors? I'm sure you, as you said, there are approximately 500 exhibitors coming up. How do you see the visitors are planning to join and uh, how do you see the show, us uh, all together? <clears throat> Thank you, Jinu. Thank you very much. Uh, as introduced by uh, Joseph, I am Cyril Pereira, Managing Director of Triune Exhibitors Private Limited. In fact, uh, we had announced Plast Asia in Bangalore in the year 2020, May. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we had kept shifting the show uh, in for different dates. Unfortunately, we couldn't do the show for the last two years. And if you know, uh, in Prakriti and Delhi, no plastic show has happened for the last five years. So we decided we bring this show to Delhi and the seventh edition of uh, Plast Asia is going to begin from 20th to 23rd April uh, 2022 at none other than Pragati Maidan, which is in the heart of the city. Coming to Delhi was a good move because the entire area for Plast Asia has crossed 35,000 square meters. And the good news, more than 450 companies from across India have taken part in this exhibition and there is a lot of excitement for exhibitors and also this time we have overwhelming response from uh, visitors the number of pre-registered visitors have doubled and i'm sure the entire industry is looking forward for this exhibition as my exhibitors are excited me and my entire team we are also totally geared up and we are going to have a fantastic business oriented plastic asia 2022 we are expecting more than 50,000 visitors from all over India to come and visit this exhibition. And uh, the plastic industry you know, in Delhi had, did not get an opportunity to have an exhibition for the last five years. So seventh edition of Plast Asia has come up to uh, Delhi and all the exhibitors are showing something different because last five years in Delhi, they did not have exposure. So I'm sure in last five years, every company has innovated something new and there are, these are all going to be exhibited in uh, Plast Asia. There are going to be more than 50 live demonstrations by different companies. We have made elaborate arrangements so that no visitor is put into difficulties. We have a lavish food court. We have made travel arrangements. We have made shuttle service uh, for uh, visitors as well as exhibitors. There is going to be a luggage count, baggage counter wherein if you come to the exhibition with your baggage, you do not walk around the exhibition with your baggage. There will be a counter to keep your baggages, visit the exhibition, and when you later leave, you can pick up your baggage. The entry is going to be from two gates to Prakati Maidan. One is will be from gate number one. And those who are coming in metro, there is a station which, is, which lands you into Prakati Maidan, and gate number 10 will be welcoming you. And from all these gates, there are going to be shuttle services running throughout so that you can reach the halls at your convenient time. The highlight of the show is, is also uh, not only exhibiting uh, machines and raw materials, but also we have a recycling pavilion. Friends, you all know there is a lot of talk going about plastics being uh, hazardous, uh, not friendly for environment, etc., etc. But I want to tell you, we would be showcasing that everything of plastics can be recycled. So we will have an exclusive recycling pavilion wherein we will showcase if the waste plastic goes to the, instead of going to the landfills, if it comes to the right place, everything can be recycled and nothing is hazardous to environment if plastic is recycled. So through this exhibition, we are going to showcase how the waste material from plastic is recycled and made into different products which are of high use you know, for the country. For the last two years, we had, did not have any exhibitions and uh, 
it was a tough time for everybody. Now things are slowly opening up. And for the plastic industry, this is going to be the first exhibition after pandemic, wherein so far we used to meet on Zoom, we used to meet on uh, Microsoft Team, etc., etc., and everyone missed one-to-one -one interaction. And this exhibition is going to give you a platform wherein you can, do the, you can look into the eye, eye of the person and talk to him directly, do business directly, and everyone has understood that exhibition is the platform where, the, where they can do their brand building as well as do business at a faster speed. Hence, I welcome one and all to visit this exhibition, to see the latest innovations in the plastics industry and do get benefit out of this uh, prestigious event which is happening in, in Delhi after five years of gap. Once again, hearty welcome to all the exhibitors and also the visitors to take benefit of the show and I wish all the exhibitors all the very best. And I thank uh, Jinu Joseph for giving me this platform, for shooting this video and trying to enhance more and more visitors to see the video and understand what Plastasia is and see to believe. So I once again welcome all the visitors and the, and the exhibitors. I'm sure this is going to create a great platform for the plastics industry in India. Thank you. Cyril, I was with you on the first show at the palace ground on an uneven ground and uh, there was a storm. How did you evolve this Plastasia exhibition from an uneven ground to today's this level? And uh, what can you uh, tell about the journey of your Plastasia? You know, you have asked me a wonderful question. Behind every success, there is always the hardships that you have to take up. And Plastasia began with a humble beginning at palace grounds. If you know that uh, about 20 years back, there was no exhibition center in Bangalore. We had to, the only venue that we could get was palace grounds. And for every exhibition, we had to erect the structure. And once the exhibition is over, we had to bring down the structure. So in the year 2004, we all know there was no plastic exhibition in South. And, but there was a great demand. So we decided to hold the first plastics exhibition in Bangalore at Palace Grounds. And as Jinu mentioned, it was uneven ground. No, even the machines had to dance when you give the live demonstrations. But with all those difficulties, the industry came together. And the first exhibition, we had 180 stalls at Palace Grounds. And that was in the year 2004. Now, as I talk, when we are, when we are doing the seventh edition in Pragati Maidan, Delhi, we have 1,200 plus stalls. That is how Plastasia from 180 stalls in 2004 has evolved to 1,200 plus stalls in 2020 only because whoever participated, they benefited from the show, they got business from the show. That's how every edition when we did, there was a 35% growth edition to edition. This Plastasia 2022 is happening at Pragati Maidan occupying an area of 35,000 square meters in seven different halls of Pragati Maidan. The entire industry is excited because after five years, Pragati Maidan Delhi is hosting a plastic show. Both exhibitors as well as visitors are looking forward for this show. They have missed this show last five years in Delhi. So there is a lot of excitement around this uh, exhibition. We too, as organizers, are all geared up. We have used every media that is possible, whether it is digital or social media or print media, electronic media. We have utilized every media to showcase and promote Plastasia. Hence, I'm sure we are going to have more than 50,000 visitors visiting the show from all over India. And even the industry, for the last five years, they could not show their innovations. Hence, this exhibition is going to be a landmark in the exhibition industry. I saw your promotional material. You are partnered with uh, many major companies. Could you please name them? And uh, also, I saw that uh, you are going to have a lot of de live demonstration. Could you elaborate on that? Yes, as I already told you, Jinu, we have 450 exhibitors coming from all over India and participating at the show. We also have Lohia Group, who are our platinum partners. We have Nilgari Machines and Shibura Machines as our gold partners. 
uh, we have Bole, Capson and Labotech as our uh, silver partners. And if you look at a Plasticia exhibition, you have who and who of the industry. Every big name or even the small industry who is manufacturing, they are all taking part in the show. The show has really grown. As I said, we are occupying 35,000 square meters in Pragati Maidan. It's going to be a memorable event for exhibitor as well as visitor. The entire world is talking about plastics waste, waste management and sustainability. During Plastic Asia, I come to know that you have a plastic recycling pavilion. Could you please elaborate on that? Uh, good question, uh, Jinu. Yes, everybody talk about the harm that plastic is doing for the environment, for the health, so on and so forth. Plastic doesn't litter by itself. It is we who litter plastics. If plastics don't go to the landfill, instead goes to recycling, a lot of harm done to the environment can be avoided. For which reason, plastics after usage shouldn't be going to the landfills, it should be going to the recycling process. In Plastasia, we have a special pavilion created to showcase how waste plastics, plastics after use can be recycled and made into different products. So if you visit the exhibition, you will see the entire process of waste plastics turned into various products and we will be showing the process of this recycling and the finished goods. So this is going to be a pavilion will, which will give you a lot of knowledge, will also give you a lot of insight about waste plastics converted into various products. And I must tell you that every waste plastic can be recycled. So through this uh, pavilion, we want to tell people that don't litter plastics, let it not go to landfills. It has to come to the recycling process so that we become responsible. We uh, no, see that this waste plastics is not going to landfills and creating all health hazards and uh, environment unfriendly, but plastics is recycled and made it into different products. Today, plastic has replaced so many everyday usage products, including if you use plastics instead of wood or uh, paper, it is going to be and it has replaced. You no, know, the plastic has replaced so many. Uh, wooden uh, articles or uh, paper articles and today even to lay the roads plastics waste can be used so in this exhibition you will see that how the waste plastics is converted into various products and this is the one of the highlights of plastasia 2022